myself overnight spot here in Bournemouth. Went out into Tokyo Church Road last night, so just part. It's quite a fairly quiet night, a few cars passing. So part of Jervis Road, it's just this little bit at the side of the road here. And then there's this lovely big church behind us. So fairly peaceful. Uh, so just going to move on now because the parking starts at 9 o'clock. It's a Sunday morning, so I'm sure the church will arrive soon as well. So we're out of here for the now. Catch you guys soon. <laughs> so we're not in the countryside here, this is just uh, Bournemouth East Overcliff Drive and uh, they've got wild goats here. <laughs> I don't know, are they wild? <laughs> They're maybe not wild. One mouth pier. Still quite quiet, eh? Because it's Sunday morning. Get some barbecue points on the beach here. Yeah? And then we got a zip slide. So, I don't think it's open yet. Well, it was a nice wee, wee stroll around Bournemouth uh, Pier on a Sunday morning and a, a good wee game of, of air hockey. Uh, I think it was a draw. <laughs> You're such a liar. <laughs> Amy won at the air hockey. So, best of three. So here's a top tip for you. The, if you need change for the parking meters, use the change machine in the, the amusement arcade. And it also accepts uh, Scottish money as well, so you can get rid of your Scottish money here quite easily. So the the parking all along the coast is the put new signage up in the last couple of years. It says cars and motorbikes only. We parked the van here and we've we've got away with it, but I suspect that we may get a ticket if uh, we chance our luck any longer. The it's quite bad in fairness for parking vans because a lot of the car parks have got height barriers and then it's only cars and motorbikes along the coast road. So I don't really know where the council are expecting us to park. Uh, on the east side of the pier, you need to pay to park, and on the west side, it's free for two hours. Again, there's a lot of inconsistency with the parking, but we've got away with it this time, but I don't think we'll get away with it every time. So we'll go to the supermarket next, and then some more travelling, so we'll catch up with you guys soon.
We're out in the new forest. Love the evening. We've come to try and see if we can find some wild horses. Wild ponies. Aren't we? Yes. You look as guilty as fuck. Stop. You know what? You can't feed, can feed the wild horses. Carrots. They don't like carrots. How do you know that's how they come? Well, they don't. <laughs> See, there's not one of them last on me. Hello. Hello. Yes, Amy's got them. Amy's got it. Oh, yeah. David, 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 help me! There you go. You wanted to feed the horses, Amy? <laughs> <laughs> You're like a pie type of horses. <laughs> no, this isn't funny. Yep, so we found the horses. <laughs> Hey guys, selfie time. <laughs> Say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> So we've returned again to this amazing spot down at Keyhaven. We like it so much down here. So the tide's out at the moment, the van's over there. The tide it goes all the way up to touch the van tires. Um, and it goes all the way back out. It's, it's an enormous spot here, great for kayaking and windsurfing, paddleboarding, etc. And over the distance there, you've got Hurst Castle. Behind that is the Yarmouth on the Isle of Wight. Lymington is that direction, Southampton's that direction. And then stand up on top of this spit here. And again, that's the Isle of Wight. And we're looking out towards the Needles, the Needles Lighthouse on the Isle of Wight. So, yeah, an amazing place. So, just come out, just before the sun sets, just to do a wee bit of litter picking. Go for a wee walk, stretch your legs. Amy's in the van watching the football. She is obsessed with football. So, I'm not bothered that much, so I'll leave her to it. <laughs> so. Okay, so this is our last night down here. We'll start to head home tomorrow. Uh, whether we make it or not, it's another story. We'll see how far we get. So. Catch you guys in the morning. So, good night from South England. So we're walking up again down here at Keyhaven. It's such a great spot down here, we just keep coming back. But this is our, our final night down here. We're going to start heading north again. So Amy's just making some breakfast and I'm supposed to be taking the rubbish to the bin. So we're going to get my breakfast and we'll Make a move. Scooter! Got a shot. 14 miles an hour!
So guys, we are currently at the New Forest, Bewley, and we're stuck in a donkey jam. So, a bit late in video on this, but just so you can see... Donkeys need heat, anyway. Donkeys need heat, yes, but we were in a donkey jam there for, I would say, a good 10 minutes. We thought maybe it was temporary traffic lights, so or we thought maybe we didn't, we didn't really know what was going on, and then as we got closer there, we could see it was, it was a donkey jam. Donkey jams. <laughs> I was just thinking, seeing these donkeys we keep seeing everywhere, right? Yeah. What's the story with them? What makes a donkey? Surely a mummy donkey and a daddy donkey makes a baby donkey. No, but isn't it like, isn't there something in donkeys? Like, isn't it like, like half a horse and half a cow or something? Half a horse and half a cow? <laughs> <laughs> Half a horse and half a cow. <laughs> is she kidding me on? <laughs> oh my god. No, but listen, seriously, there's something in it, I'm sure. I'm sure it's. A horse is a horse, right? But I'm sure a donkey's half a horse. Well, what else could it be? What else have we seen? I don't know. If you know, put it in the comments because Amy's lost the plot. Listen. You never even had a drink. If it can. Uh, <laughs> Strawberry <What>? water. <laughs> If it comes back that a donkey is half a horse and half a cow, you're going to be so looking stupid. Yeah. See, look, there's a cow, there's a horse. And they too make the donkeys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Am I, am I a donkey? Donkey! <laughs> what is it, <this>, Craig? <laughs> Abington Services to Tesco at Oxford. Yes, on the, just off the Marchham Junction A34. That is it by far 10, 15 pence cheaper than any other garage we've seen. Yeah. These on. I know, I know. Well, we, we, we filled up there, didn't we, last week? Yep. And um, we thought maybe they'd made a mistake and put the numbers around I the know. wrong way. But we've came back a week later and hey ho, it's still that. I know. So that's pretty mad. Right, okay, let's get going. Go, 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 go! Okay guys, so as you can see we are still on the road and it is 20 past 9 at night. Um, so, whereabouts are we David? Just north of Stafford on the M6. North of Stafford on the M6, so that is south of Manchester? Yeah. Yeah, south of Manchester. So, if we're south of Manchester we'll probably not go home till about 2 o'clock in the morning. So keep driving, um, that is us on our way home now, so thank you for watching our video, if you like our videos please hit the subscribe button and like and please leave your comments and we really do appreciate all of the subscribers that are watching this and everybody that is new to us, thank you very much and we will see you in the next one guys, go go go! <laughs>